you're just as bad as my client. Let me talk, you're just as bad as my client. Okay. Okay, how are you? Challenging us on a First Amendment protected activities. What you're sorry? I said your criminal defense attorney that's challenging us on a First Amendment protected activity. Well, it's not for me to decide. Okay. Well, thank you then. I'll be happy to represent you and raise every constitutional defense you have. But you don't. You said you don't have. You, but yeah, you said. What I'm saying it. is, this is you're in violation of, of our rules right now because there's three of you in my lobby. The state says we will have one person at a time in our lobby. Right? Mm -hmm. I can't change the COVID. Even though we live issues, together? All right? Even though we all live together? Huh? Even though we all live together as a family? You know what? If you came in as one of my clients with your family, they go wait in the car and I deal with you as my client. That's, that's what we've always done since March the 12th when all this insanity started. Right. I think you're a bad defense attorney when you use the word deal with someone as a client. I'm sorry? When you use the word deal with someone as a negative context, I think you're a bad defense attorney. Have a good day. You lose. Good day, sir. I think you're a bad defense attorney. Have a good day. And I just got here. Hundreds of people every day. There's no negative context. Sir. Dealing with people. Dealing is That's dealing is a negative word. Like it's an inconvenience to you. I just got here, so I have no idea where you're talking about. Wait, hold on. Let me finish because I just heard you spout off a, a whole bunch of stuff. I just got here, so I don't know about the one person minimum rule. There are no signs posted. You know the legality of that. Shouldn't I be notified at least by in writing? I told them. But you didn't tell me. I just got here and you all of a sudden. Yeah, well, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Beginning. Let's start with this. Have you gotten permission from the city manager's office to walk around this building and film me? Do I need it? Huh? Do I need it? In my opinion, you probably do. First Can Amendment, the first talk? law. Let me talk. You're just as bad as my clients. You, you, you want to wow. make your argument before I can explain the position. Okay? Wow. You want to talk? That's fine. Let me talk first. Wow. You're in a government building. I know where we are. Government rules. If you want to cite the Constitution to a lawyer, that's great. But what you need to understand is if they have an issue with that, you will be making that argument after the sheriff's deputies arrest you. On what crime? Criminal trespass, failing to leave. Trespass after know. warning? Look, I'm not the, I don't enforce the law. I yeah. represent people charged with violating the law. Speaking My of the law. The problem is, you're in an attorney client situation. You're not one of our clients. You don't have business here. I do have business here. You're wrong about that. But did they tell you about Smith versus City of Coming? He don't care about it. Yes. You can cite case oh. law all day long. That has nothing to do with you having business with our office. My business is gathering content for a story and disseminating it to the public. What? I'm, I'm hard, I told him you weren't here. I'm already hearing and these masks are the bane of my existence. I came to... These masks are the bane of your existence. Because is that I what you lip read and so I can't hear because I'm hard of hearing. I'm hard of hearing as well and uh, I was in artillery in the Marine Corps. I do lip reading yeah, as well. I have some hearing damage from my time in the Navy as well. Right on. So we both took an oath to honor the Constitution. We don't scoff at it. I take my very little time off coming to do these civil rights audits and you, sir, have conducted yourself. You said you're just as bad as some of my clients. Don't be a public defender anymore. Sir, Hang I've it up. This long time, and let me say How many times have you pled out? How many cases? No, no, no. I want to make a public records request. You don't get it. I want to make a public records request. You ask me a question, and when I start to explain something, then you start talking again. So you want me to say something, let me say it, then you want to respond, that's fine, but that's the thing you're missing. You started talking over me, and I never got to say what I wanted to say. I have an issue if y'all don't have permission to be in the building filming. I mean, it's not a big deal, because I'm not going to arrest you. Frankly, personally, I don't care, but there are people in the building who do. Okay, and that's why we're here, is to educate everyone on our civil right to be here. Federal court has decided that. I, I'm 
I'm not sure what you mean about your right to be here. It's a public building. You can come and go. In fact, under Georgia law, because there's not a security checkpoint, if you have a concealed carry, you can bring a gun into this building. I don't suggest it yeah. because there have been some issues because I don't know if you've been up the stairs. There, there, there are a lot of nuanced laws with wearing a mask and carrying, so I don't, I don't carry when I'm wearing a mask. The code enforcement thing upstairs makes hey, is he defending you? Can it, look, I'm sorry to interrupt you again. Can you just please take down my records request? Your what? I have a records request. Isn't it my statutory right to put in a request for public records here? Aren't you obligated to give it to me, or just give, give you what? to take my request? You're obligated to write down my email address. If you just write down my email address uh -huh. and the question that I have, you can email it to me. You have three days to provide these records. What records are you asking for? I want to know how many cases you pled out in 2019. Submit, you have to submit a written records request. Write it down. Which we have to provide to Atlanta. Right. I'm asking you to write it down. Send it to the Office of the Public Defender, 420. Right now, you, you are the representative here. Yeah. I'm asking you, and you're failing to... Take my record request, or, or you're not. Good, good job. Just stop resisting, please comply. I don't have to comply with anything you've asked. The, no, you have to comply with the law, sir. Yes, I do, and there's a process in Georgia on how to do that. And I've studied it, and I know that you, yes, I. you're supposed to write it down so you can't say that you can't read my handwriting. You write it down. I'm gonna get you a copy of that. You're gonna deny me my records request. How many times did you quit last year? I went to the DeKalb County Public, Public Defender a year ago. It's not in the printer, so. I want to know, number one, how many cases you want the record, you have to submit a written request. That's state law. No, it's not. you write it down no it don't. i there's video documentation of me putting in the records request right now you have to no, comply that's not how it works. yes it is no, you have to i dealt with this at DeKalb county a year ago they learned they learned the law the hard way a public defender of 26 years out there she is horrible at tennis by the way but she grievance with that if you or whatever he, he can make his request him. orally he has done so okay if we don't comply he doesn't have much recourse if it's not in writing sure. she learned the hard way she says oh if he doesn't put it in writing he doesn't have recourse she was stupid enough to say that on video so you're not going to do it either you're going to make yourself and this department look bad you just wrote all that for nothing sir That's not the way it works, sir. Your office in Atlanta lied to you. You're supposed to take it down. How many times did you quit last year? How many times did you give up and just let people go to jail? How many times did you ruin people's lives? You it just... Really shows a total misunderstanding of what we do. Here. No, it's, it's a pretty accurate understanding. It's not misconceived at all. So how many times have you been to court and actually... How many times have you pled out last year? Sorry? You're the public servant. How many times have you pled out last year? Too many to count, huh? You know, the last time I was in court, I spent a week, a week, trying a murder case. We didn't plead out. Didn't matter that my client had given a complete confession. He wanted a trial. We had a trial. In fact, the jury was out for a while, much to my surprise. We only plead out cases when our client says they want to take a plea. And do you offer it just because the state said so and it'll be more convenient for everyone? What? The state tells you offer them this please We're, we'll get we'll give them 90 days here, here's, here's does that is that how it works 
Here's a simple overview of the process. Sure, sure. Yes, sir. I, I know all this, right. and you're, you're and you know, I've dancing around the question. It, I've always said, and when I've explained to people part of the process, there are two things, and the, how the law gets argued and motions and all that, and that's my job as a lawyer. The two key decisions that the defendant or, can make, or our client can make, in fact, must make, and nobody else can make for them is whether they plead guilty or not guilty. That is their call and only their call. Yeah. The second one is during the course of the trial, whether they testify or not, I can make all kinds of recommendations. I can say, if you testify, they're going to put your record in. That's not going to help our argument with the jury. If you don't testify, the jury's going to wonder why you didn't testify. Here's the pros and the cons. And at the end of the day, they have to decide. Not only do they decide, but outside the presence of the jury, the judge will ask on the record, do you wish to testify? Have, have you discussed this with your attorney? At the end of the day, if he tells the judge he wants to testify, I couldn't stop him if I wanted to, no matter how good or bad it might be. That's their decision. What about taking the plea? What about taking... Here, here's my experience on this. Here, here Can you shorten it? Because these guys are waiting. And, and seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm not naive. I understand that there's a lot of workload on your back right yeah. now. And you like to, to shuffle things through quickly. Hey, they're offering you 30 days. Just take the 30 days so we don't have to do no, this. See, you, okay, now, that person was innocent. Their life is ruined. You got that half right. And they just created a homeless person because he can't go back to his two jobs at the restaurant after 30 days in jail. Thank you, sir. That's why I'm here. No more lawyer explaining. No more. No more. No more. You didn't want to take my records request? You're on record for violating my statutory right? Take care. I haven't violated any of your rights. Yeah, I told you to take down my records request. You have a misconception of how it's done. No, I can put it in with any person at the agency. You just have to take down my email address and the request and send it to me in three days. That's how it works. That's not how it works. That is how it works. Check the law. Check Georgia Open Records Law. Check it. Can, can you just swallow your ego for a second, swallow your pride and check it? So you know that I'm not making this up. You have to file a written request. Not my first rodeo. I don't have to. What if what if someone doesn't know how to write in the state of Georgia? They're not allowed records. Come on. You want records? You have to file a written request. So I have to find somebody who knows how to write and have them write it for me. That's how it works. Not submitting anything. What if I'm a homeless person who stinks really bad and I don't want, can't get anyone within 10 feet of me, let alone write things down for me when I don't know how to write? How am I supposed to get records? You know, I don't make the law. Right. And you definitely don't know how to read it either because it doesn't say it has to be written. I triple checked. You're supposed to write it. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. So you cannot say that you can't read my handwriting. It's, it's that way for a reason. You know. What's so funny? Then I claim you can't, I can't read your right. That's just silly. That, well, I'm not the one being silly. That's happened to me countless times in different agencies. You want to file a written records request. I, I want, want you to write it down for me, me, yes. Sorry. Well, then give me a written request and I'll forward it to the people that handle it. Can you write it down for me? No. Okay, so you refuse to take my request. If you provide me an actual request. I'll okay, I it. want to know how many cases you pled out last year. I'm telling you verbally right here on record. There's no line. This is an objective documentation of me putting in a verbal records request. Can you please tell me? Okay. All right. You're going to learn. What's your name? Steve Kraft. Steve Kraft. Hang it up, Steve. Time to retire. You're a burnout. My name's Finn with the Bolt Action News Group. I'm sorry? Finn, like Huckleberry? Right. With the Bolt Action News Group. Bang. Bang! Bolt Action News Group.